Praise the Lord, True Life Apostolic. I want to begin this video by saying thank you for taking the time to come to the website and inform yourself. Hopefully both of these videos that we've asked you to watch will give you plenty of information in order to make a good decision for yourself and for your family. We understand that everyone's comfort level at this time is different regarding mass gatherings, coming back to church, things like this. So while well, we are excited and we cannot wait for Sunday to arrive so that we can all begin gathering together again, we also understand if you choose at this present time not to join us in person. But again, whether your decision is to join us in person or just continue to watch online for another uh, week or two, we understand that and we want to make sure that you are informed and everyone understands everything that will be happening as we come back to church. So let's begin. As you can see in this first picture, what we are asking you to do is simply come to church for your appointed service time, whether that's 9 o'clock a.m., 11 o'clock a.m., 2 o'clock p.m., or 4 o'clock p.m. But when you arrive, we want you to park in your parking space, and we are asking that you would please stay there. No matter what the service time is, we're not going to be bringing people into the building or opening up the building until 15 minutes before that service time. So uh, if you arrive uh, for service, we're asking for that first service, you arrive between 8.45 and 9 o'clock and so on for every service throughout the day. At 15 minutes till a quarter till service time, there will be a greeter, a parking lot attendant that will come to you and they are going to ask you a few questions regarding your health. How are you feeling today? And uh, not more than probably three, four questions. And the only thing we're asking with this is just please be honest in your responses. And again, we don't want anyone coming to church if they're not feeling well. And so that is why we're asking these questions. We just want uh, true life to be as safe as possible for all of us. As long as you answer those questions and don't uh, cause uh, any um, hesitation on behalf of the uh, parking lot attendant, at that point, they will ask you and your family to get out of the car and follow them to uh, the next uh, place in order to get into the building. And that is going to be the start of our awning there at the back door, as you can see in this next picture, there will uh, be a greeter at the back door that's just going to ask you to stay there. And at that point, the parking lot attendant will leave you and they will go to another car and do the same routine. Once the lobby is available, then the uh, door greeter at that back door will ask you to uh, step forward. And again, just follow their instruction. Uh, if they say, go ahead and step forward, uh, just hang out uh, here at the door. Or if they go say, go ahead and step into the lobby. Again, we're just trying to honor social distancing and that greeter at the door will give you instruction when to come forward, when to go into the, uh, the lobby in the back. Once you are allowed into the lobby, we're asking that you step towards the welcome desk. At the welcome desk, there will be a hostess that is going to inform you of a few different things. Now, as you can see there on the desk, there will be hand sanitizer that will be available. There will be um, some disposable masks that are available and even some disposable gloves. If you feel the need, to wear a mask and you don't have one, feel free to take one of those and dispose of it after the service. The same for the gloves. And if you would like to um, put some hand sanitizer on, that would be great. One thing that I do need to let you know of, that right now hand sanitizer is like gold, as most of you know. And so in order to 
uh, save and not go through the church's supply uh, too quickly, we are asking that you would bring your own if possible. If you have maybe a small, I know a lot of times ladies carry a small amount of small bottle in their purse. And so maybe you can just bring a bottle of your own in your purse for your family. But if you don't have that, we understand and there will be sanitizer available. We also will be uh, purchasing, actually in the process of purchasing a touchless dispenser that hopefully will be here in the next uh, couple of weeks. The greeter, uh, the hostess is also going to remind you and uh, let you know that water fountains are not available. They are not accessible. And so we're asking that you would bring your own water bottle, uh, even if it's something where you think, well, you know, normally in church, I'm not thirsty or uh, this would probably be the uh, one time that you would get thirsty simply because it's not available. So we're asking that you would um, bring your own water bottle and then dispose of that trash after the service, either taking it with you or finding a trash can to throw that in. Also, uh, all the restrooms, the restrooms downstairs in the youth area, the restrooms in Kids Rock are all going to be blocked off. And the only restrooms that will be available are the ones in the front lobby. And they, those are only available for emergency use. Realize that every time a bathroom is used, we are, we're going to have an attendant that is going to have to come in and uh, clean that bathroom after it's used every time. So we're again, we're asking that the bathrooms only be used in case of emergency and the only ones available will be those in the front lobby. Everything to your left, when you walk in the back door, everything to your left is closed off. The guest area in the front lobby will be closed off. The fellowship hallway uh, is going to be closed off and also the Kids Rock area will be closed off. It's just going to help us cut down on traffic and it'll be less that we will have to go back and clean and sanitize after uh, the service at the end of the day. There will be no uh, Kids Rock, of course. Uh, there will be no youth classes, anything like that at the present time. Also, the next thing you'll be reminded of as you're waiting there at the welcome desk area is that the nursery is closed except for case of emergency. The nursery will only have in it a changing table and a rocking chair and a diaper pail. Everything else has been taken out because again, we're wanting to make sure that these areas do not get uh, too much use uh, and could result in any kind of contamination. And I think you understand uh, that. So again, the nursery is open only for our little ones as far as our, um, our newborns, those little babies. Uh, we understand if you have to use it, but again, use it only in case of emergency. After you've been reminded of all of these things, an usher will be uh, standing there ready to escort you to your seat. And we're asking that you would uh, follow that usher to your assigned seat due to the fact that we can only have 50 people in the building and we're honoring social distancing. Uh, the plat or the uh, sanctuary is going to be set up slightly different. And in order to accommodate the 50 people at a time, we're going to have to assign seats the best uh, way that we can. So it may not be where you normally sit. If we're able to put you in that general area, we will try, but we're not gonna promise you anything. So please understand, uh, just follow the usher. And then we're asking that you would please stay in your seat. Please uh, do not get up and roam around. Uh, there's someone near you that you want to talk to say praise the lord it's so good to see you catch up that's fine but again please stay in your seat unless uh, uh unless there's an emergency and you have to get up and go to the restroom or to the nursery something like that and then at the time of dismissal at the end of service again we're asking you to stay seated and the usher that seated you will also come by your uh you or your row and dismiss you a row at a time and once you're dismissed we're asking that you would please do not congregate in the building uh, immediately once you're dismissed 
go out the back door. Once you get down into the parking lot, feel free to fellowship, feel free to catch up, talk to many as many people um, that you would like to. And uh, they're comfortable with staying and talking. That's great. We want to see the church be able to fellowship, even if it's in a limited uh, way right now. But again, when service is dismissed, do not hang out. Do not stand in the hallways. Just immediately get up, go out into the parking lot, and you can visit there. This is how service will be conducted as far as from the parking lot to your pew and then leaving from your pew to uh, the parking lot at the end of service every Sunday uh, for the present time. And we hope that eventually uh, we can become uh, a little bit more lax and we can uh, get back to a little bit more time of fellowship and hanging out in the building, but just be patient with us right now. We appreciate it very much. And I pray that this video and the second one as well is uh, beneficial to you. And if you have any questions, you have any concerns, feel free to call Pastor James. We look forward to seeing everybody this Sunday.